Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You already know, if you've been here, you already know what I'm going to say. I am so freaking excited for today's video. I'm doing my first ever book unboxing in 2024. This is my first unboxing of the year and there's just so many things to be excited about. So let's get right into the video. I was watching Ellen Catherine on YouTube do a book unboxing and she was talking about a book website that I've never heard about called Books Please. After watching her YouTube video, I was like, okay, I gotta look through this website. Like, come on, a book website? It, I, I immediately was like, let's look through it. Let's browse to see what they got. As I was looking through the website, I immediately noticed that the covers were different than the ones that we have here in the States. So obviously since the company's based in Europe, they get to have the other covers that I wish I was able to get my hands on. But with this website, I am able to. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, here in the States, we have different covers. So these are the Emily Henry books that we can buy here in the States, but the UK comes out with different covers. And as a book reader and just as like a book lover, I then naturally want to collect different editions. It's so freaking nice to know, oh, okay, Books Please has those covers that I can get my grimy little hands on for the same price as Amazon, if not cheaper. So, so freaking cool. I, of course, naturally made a purchase. I saw these books on the website and I was like, no freaking way. So I obviously twist my arm. I had to break my book buying band and buy these freaking books because I have been wanting to get my hands on these for so freaking long. I am just so freaking excited. Not only is this my first ever unboxing of the year, but these are also just books that I'm so excited to get my hands on. Just. Overall, we're very happy here. I also love that they put fragile all over the box. We love that. Because what's worse than getting your books damaged in shipment? Like it happens, obviously. But it's so sad when it does. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. It's a Christmas, yay! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I gotta savor this moment. <sighs> this isn't gonna last forever. This is so much fun. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna let myself do another book unboxing. So I really gotta savor this moment. Okay. <gasps> no way. Wait, yes, I forgot. Ellen Catherine talked about how they give you bookmarks. Oh my gosh, they give you so many bookmarks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Book, please. Do you want to kiss? Wow, I love that. Wow, that's so cool. Can you guess just from that? <laughs> I got my hands on the entire Magnolia series in the OG covers. Oh, they smell good. I I just can't believe it. When I tell you guys, I want to say over a year ago, I saw on Jessa Hastings Instagram that they are no longer selling these books, like in, in these covers. I was so sad because I love these covers so much. So after I saw her post that on Instagram, I ran straight to Amazon to see if I can still get my hands on the entire series. And sure enough, they had already been replacing some of them. Then I was scrolling through books, please, a year later, and I saw that they had the Magnolia Parks in the original covers. So let's take a moment Look at that. Look at how beautiful. So we got the first book, Magnolia Parks. Then we got the second book, Daisy Hates. I love the gold. Then we got the third book, The Long Way Home by Magnolia Parks. Look at the bow. So cute. Then to the fourth book, Daisy Hates. This one's The Great Undoing. Look at the cover. They are just 
stunning. Like they knew what they were doing. Then to the fifth and last book. This one's, this one's chonky. This one is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. Look at that, look at that glossy finish. Beautiful. Let's read the synopsis to the first book. I'm sure, I'm sure you like know the gist of the, of the book, but if you're new here, if you're new into the book community, then let me tell you. This probably is one of the most popular series I have ever heard of. It is so widely loved. Sarah Caroli just raves about the series and it's also Rachel Catherine's. So those two are definitely the reasons why I've been so interested in reading the series. When someone is just so passionate about a book, but especially like an entire series, it just makes me so intrigued. So very excited that I got my hands on this. So let's read the synopsis. It says, how many lives? Nope, it doesn't say that. It says, how many loves do you get in a lifetime? She is a beautiful, self-involved, and mildly neurotic London socialite. He is Britain's most photographed bad boy who broke her heart. But Magnolia Parks and BJ Valentin, Valentine are meant to be, aren't they? I always hear people compare these to Gossip Girl, so I'm going to assume that there's going to be rich people, preppy, spoiled, rich kids, and like private schools. Now for the perceivable, perceivable future, I'm going to be staring at these books. They are gorgeous. I just, I'm so freaking happy that I got my hands on these. And if you want to get your hands on these books as well, I highly recommend checking out Books Please. Not only do they have books to choose from, but if you live in the States, it's so cool to buy books that they publish out in the UK that you just can't get your hands on, but now you can. Also, I have a promo code for you guys. If you use code YAZ, you get 5% off your purchase. So not only am I making a little bit of commission, not only is Books Please making a little bit of commission, but also you are going to be getting new books. So everyone here is going to be happy. So I would love for you to use my promo code. Again, it's code YAZ for 5% off your purchase at Books Please. Now that the book unboxing is done, I still have two new books though to show you guys. So the first book is Eleanor Ol Oliphant. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Should I search up how to pronounce this so I don't look dumb on the internet? Oliphant. Oliphant. Eleanor Oliphant. Olf Oliphant. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I have a mini library that's on my like walk route that I always go on and I swear I have gotten at least three books from this mini library. Whoever like lives near me and gives these books away, like I love them because it feels like every single time that I go on a walk, I get to have a treat with getting a book from the mini library. And it's so freaking fun because it's books that I'm like genuinely interested in. I've gotten, I think from memory, this is like the fourth book that I got from that specific mini library. So I read the synopsis, it sounded really, really good. This is definitely something that's out of my comfort zone. I don't typically read something that is like this. Honestly, that's why I picked it up though, because I wanna have like a different range of books on my bookshelf. So let's read the synopsis real quick. So it says, me, Eleanor Alfinet. I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong still. She struggles with appropriate social skills and tends to say exactly what she's thinking. Nothing is missing in her carefully time timable life where weekends mostly consist of frozen pizza, vodka, and phone chats with mummy. <laughs> mummy. But everything changes when Eleanor meets Raymond, the bumbling IT guy from her office, whose big heart will ultimately help Eleanor find the way to repair her own profoundly damaged one. It's a romance. <laughs> I love that. So it says, smart, warm, and uplifting. Eleanor Alfinite, Alfinite is complete. <laughs> I said the word so many times I can't say it anymore. It's completely fine. It's the story of an out of the ordinary heroine whose deadpan weirdness and wit make for an irresistible journey as she realizes the only way to survive is to open your heart. 
<laughs> it just sounds so good. My first thought was like, it's like a literary, but also a little bit of like mental health, of course, in the mix. But it looks like the base or like at least like the sub plot is romance. So I love that. I've heard a few people here just like on TikTok and booktube talk about this book. And all of the people that I've heard read this book say that they loved it. So when I saw this, I got really happy and I just, I just had to bring it home with me. Then to the last book of this haul. <sighs> I'm so excited for this book. It is Funny Story by Emily Henry. Now, my lovely boyfriend bought this book for me so that I didn't have to break my book buying band. We love that. Emily Henry, I have read two of her books, Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation, and those are both really highly rated books. And I am really, really interested, excited, intrigued. I need to find new words to read more of Emily Henry. I have a few of her books that I have yet to read. I have Funny Story, Happy Place, and Beach Read. So I'm very, very excited because I find some type of comfort in my heart knowing that I have a few of my favorite author's books to read. So I'm very, very excited. This book, I want to go into it blindly. I am choosing to actually not read the synopsis. Well, I'm expecting this to be a highly rated four star, if not five star. I'm expecting this to be a romance, but with probably a little bit more of an emotional depth into it. I'm expecting it to be like literary fiction, very beautifully written, everything that we love about Emily Henry's. Let's take a moment. The cover is beautiful, but look at what I just saw right here. So gorgeous and look at the spine. And even the front of the book is freaking pink. Oh, look at the spine. Cute, it's silver. This book is just so beautiful. That is going to be it for today's video. I, I just can't get over these books. I'm so excited to put these on my bookshelf and just admire them. I am so excited to just dive into these books and just own them. It's just, it's so fun. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.